Paradise Killer. Hello friends, this is Self-Critical Automaton, a lengthy beachside evening filled with longing glances. And today it is time for episode 41 of my Let's Play of Paradise Killer. In which we'll be hopefully doing kind of a rapid fire uh, catch up with all of the collected motley assholes of this island and uh, demand that they each explain a whole bunch of stuff that doesn't add up or indeed make sense. So, we're going to start off with Carmelina, because she's here. She's definitely the closest to the Doctor, which is who we spoke to the last time, uh, in terms of physical space. I can't speak to their relationship otherwise. Do you know anything about demons on the island, besides the one that resides within the killer? Nothing has been proven yet, he's still an alleged killer. Quite. The marshals did an exemplary job of wiping the demons out. It was not enough to stop the corruption, though. I've been in your bunker. Jesus, you can't just come out and say that to someone in public. Why was it coded only to witness his blood vial? It embarrasses me to say it, but it was a lover's retreat. I disliked the design as a bunker and dropped my plan for them. It sat unused. Spending time there with witness felt illicit. Exciting, but things didn't work out. I haven't been in there in years. So I saw in the logs I pulled from it. So you definitely weren't experimenting on a killer demon in there? Absolutely not. Well, hmm. I mean, obviously she could be lying, but what she's saying at least lines up with the evidence, you know? Um, she apparently hasn't been in there in a very long time. Possibly she was developing a weapon with him back then, but... Uh, it's entirely possible that she's right, and that um, all of the demon experimentation happened more recently, in which case it would be completely down to witness. Do you know anything about the Third Holy Seal? It is a secret investigator built without my knowledge. Okay, but uh, this is ridiculous. Why can't I ask her about why I found her blood in the crime scene? That is an insanely important piece of evidence that I should be able to present her with. Can I ask you something, architect? What is the point of all these questions, Investigator? I'm just trying to get to know you, Architect. The Syndicate has changed in my time away. How does getting to know me relate to the case? All it seems to be doing is delaying you from executing Henry. What do you do as the Architect? I craft and enable dreams. Each island needs to be thoroughly designed. I plan every square inch. It takes centuries. The islands are given form by the Council's psychic will. I transmute that physical. I transmute that psychic will into physical form. Can anyone be an architect? No one has shown any ability outside of the Silence family. The gift was part of the Silent Goat's blessing when the Syndicate was formed. We needed somewhere to live outside of the real world. How do you transmute the Council's will? I have never been able to describe it. It's just a feeling. When they meditate and envisage the island, I am able to open psychic pathways to a new reality and let the island take shape. The syndicate would be lost without you. I live to serve. Okay, so she feels flattered by it, at least. Investigator, can we discuss something private? Blah, blah, blah. Got something you want to tell the investigator? Oh, wait, she didn't say investigator that time. Interesting, that's the first time it's been that way. I think. Something concerns me about witness. Some of us become more complicated as our lives go on, others do not. I can see it behind his mask. He has changed since I've been gone. Witness has become gripped with religious hysteria. He believes we have strayed too far from the path. Montserrat wanted to protect the new island with a tighter grip on the syndicate. In Witness's eyes, our leader was not placing enough importance on resurrecting the gods. Montserrat was furthering the syndicate, not our holy mission. Then that does make him a sinner. Don't be short-sighted. The Syndicate are hampered by demonic invasions and the deaths of our homes. Montserrat was playing a longer game. Build a perfect island, rule it perfectly, and then focus on the gods. Our divided attention was getting us nowhere. Witness had grown infuriated with Montserrat. They were like baying dogs in Syndicate meetings. Witness voted against every one of Montserrat's proposals. Is there anything else? 
When a man becomes complicated, he often withdraws. Witness is no different. He needed time with his thoughts, and his sanctuary was his apartment. It became rare to see him. I have wondered what he does up there. Is this privacy more than usual? We would almost never see him. He would only leave his apartment to attend syndicate meetings, and only then to scream religious proclamations at us. That was one of the reasons I went to see him last night. I was worried. I needed to know he was fine at the final end of an island. Thank you for your candor, architect. Well, a lot of that is fine and interesting or whatever, but what the fuck? Why... Why do I not have a note? In fact, I'm gonna go check that. I'll, uh, be right back. So, I just ran all the way to space and back, and, uh, yeah, as I leap with a very uh, undignified uh. stride through the gardens to go investigate some other people, uh, I think it's probably worth noting that I was incorrect. I misremembered. It was, in fact, mystery DNA from someone who could have been Carmelina's child, someone with Carmelina's DNA, which is thickening the source somewhat, since, um... Henry Division's uh, missing parent is supposedly a father, and I don't really know what kind of a position this, this game has with regards to um, people identified or being identified as male or female contributing different forms of genetics to different uh, children, you know? Like, can two women have a baby in this world? Because frankly, they ought to be able to, because like, you know. We're in an extra-dimensional weird hellhole place. But I don't know if the developers will have considered that there's no reason why that shouldn't be unviable. After all, that's viable for various different reasons in real life. Anyway, but people just tend to assume it isn't. Anyway, let's have a chat with this lad. So I should be able to demand some information from these guys, but they probably won't give it to me. I think we tried this specifically earlier and it didn't work. Oh. Yeah, so there's still... I, I had these co this conversation with him previously and it didn't give me any evidence. She returned here after Henry escaped. Got a way to prove that? Our word is all you need. Hard to believe the word of the Grand Marshal's loyal troops. What do you want, Frigg? Yeah, okay. So this time it's just arbitrarily decided to give me some testimony and uh, cooperation. I should- I really need to get those phone records. Was that the note that I had on here, though? Looks like it was, which means it's time to go talk to someone else. What's up, Yuri? Yuri Knight. Time to ask him more questions. Were you outside the council penthouse last night, Yuri? Of course I wasn't, freak. I found pink petals, which I suspected from your hat, outside the penthouse. I doubt that. So, for the record, this is a complete denial? Yes, freak, it is. It won't stand up in court anyway. Well, we'll see. Do you know anything about the third holy seal? Of course not, there are mysteries. Stop wasting time. Do you know anything about demons on the island? The marshals killed them all. They should have killed Henry while they were at it. Well, he's still a dick and still useless. Can we make this the last time, freak? Have you ever been in love, Yuri? Love doesn't offer anything. Love constrains ambition, it blinds you to your goal. Love can make you understand more about yourself and about others. I understand myself and others just fine. Some of us are rulers and the rest are meant to be ruled. The world is very simple, freak. You're, you people confuse yourselves with love and affection. It dulls your senses and stops you from achieving excellence. Spoken like a... California tech, bro. If you open your heart, you open your mind. Goodbye, freak. Goodbye, Yuri. May you see through a million eyes, and may you reach the moon. Well, hello, witness. Witness to the end. I understand you've become more secretive. Maybe a bit paranoid? Who told you that? Oh, I don't want to divulge my source. 
The Syndicate is full of gossipers that have strayed from the path. What I do is my business. All I wish is to give myself to our gods. My personal business is my own. Secrets are dangerous, Witness. They can take physical forms before you realise. You don't need to lecture me, Investigator. Do you know anything about demons on the island? Demons? I don't. They're a blight on our holy work, corrupting our righteous home. The marshals exterminated them all after they came to the island. There shouldn't be any left. I found the hidden bunker you've been using to study a killer demon. That is nonsense. No, it isn't. It has a blood vial lock coded to yours and Carmelina's blood vials. Care to explain? And don't play games. That is an old panic room that Carmelina installed on the island. I am not comfortable talking about the times I used to spend with her, but that was our hideaway for a time. I don't know anything about illegal demonology there. No demonology, just romanceology? Is that what passes for a joke in her milieu? What does that mean? I don't know. It sounded better in my head. Ah, okay. <laughs> you dialed the number 833-2112-ES9116RD at midnight last night. It's remarkable her ability to just pronounce that off the cuff without needing to double check the digits. That call was to a receiver attached to a lock on a crate which contained a killer demon which had been hidden in the council penthouse. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yes, you do. You unleashed that killer demon. No, I didn't. Somebody is trying to frame me. Bollocks. I mean, it is difficult to think of how that framing could possibly even be achieved based on the information we have now. Do you know anything about the third holy seal? The holy seals are kept a secret on purpose. What, is, that, is that it? Okay. Okay, fine. Do you want to have a chat? I must warn you that I am not one for long conversations. What else do you remember of the Great Betrayal? I understood what salvation is. I was married to another inhabitant of the palace. A wonderful woman, but she chose heresy over the gods. I do not blame her. It was a troubling time. The whole world changed. Temptation of a new life drove us apart. I refused to abandon our heavenly masters, and she chased me throughout the Chaos Palace, determined to take my life. Ezekiel saved me. He found a way out as the palace was attacked, and we were free. We had no idea what daylight or time was, but we knew we had to find the remaining believers. We wandered to the desert for many days, until we met a small caravan of worshippers. We, we went with them and found the start of the Syndicate. We became obsessed with growing the Syndicate. Now you work only for the gods. The Syndicate's work is holy work. Without the Syndicate, the gods will not rise again. There is a balance, however. Ezekiel saved me, and now I must save the Syndicate. Saved? How are you going to save it? Too many of us have... Too many of us have... Too many of us have forgot to adhere to the ways the Silent Goat taught us. When was the last time you did a full prayer routine? I will evangelize these values on the new island and bring us back to the light. In order for that to happen, you need to do your job, Lady Love dies. Let us not do social calls until the next island. Understood. Maybe I'll see you next time. Maybe? The truth I find about the murder may involve you, witness. A devoted servant like myself has nothing to fear. May you fly with destroyed Eden. And may you reach the moon. Well, shit. Okay, that's interesting. It's all starting to come together. It certainly seems like some people can be eliminated from, like, the prime movement. But the fact that it probably was Witness, who designed the demon landmine and detonated it during the council meeting, al that doesn't alone absolve everybody else. It's still likely that there was collusion, at the very least, from Aikiko 14, and possibly from Carmelina, who seems to have been the murderer of uh, Grace Bloodlines, as far as I can tell. Anyway, next person. It's everybody's pal, Sam Daybreak. Sam Daybreak. Lydia told me about you guys wanting to leave the Syndicate. She told you that. Can't break the bond of friendship, can you? You mean you wish she'd kept quiet? Has she given your secret away? 
I don't like people knowing our business. It's our relationship, not theirs. It doesn't give us a motive, because the law is the law. A new leader wouldn't change that, would it? I'm afraid I need to be the judge of that, Sam. How come you lied to me earlier? It paints us in a bad light. We're not council killers, we just want to explore the world. You understand, right? This doesn't look good, Sam. Well, only in a context where you assume that lying to the police is, is a bad idea. Generally speaking, loads of people lie to the lie about to everybody for all kinds of reasons all of the time. What were you doing in Doomjazz's clinic, Sam? What do you mean, investigator? Doomjazz told me he'd seen you sneaking around his clinic. We must all be deliberate with words, mustn't we? The wrong word choice can darken truth and cast a false light on a conspiracy, can't it? I have a prescription I need to get from the doctor. Prescription? After Lydia killed me on the battlefield and my body refused to die, I looked on in this form. I think it suits me, don't you? Unfortunately, it's become quite debilitating. A few sequences ago, I began to require regular blood infusions. Where do you get the blood? It's all ethically sourced from Doom Jazz and approved by the council. Every citizen lets blood as part of their worship, and some of that comes my way. Helping the syndicate is helping the gods, right? Hey, wait a second, how do his glasses stay on? I assumed they were fixed to the top of his nose bridge, but it looks like he's missing that. Yet another mystery of the mystical realm we're currently inhabiting. Please check with Doom Jazz. he'll corroborate my story. So if you and Lydia want to get out of the Syndicate, what's the plan for sourcing blood? There are a lot of blood banks out there, LV. I'm not going to start killing, am I? You didn't happen to break into a secure container and take a vial of council blood, did you? That's not something I would do, is it? Why would I need to do that? It would be if you were trying to breach the Holy Seals. Are you accusing me, LD? We'll see. Well, we definitely know that something's up with it. Because we have a canister full of all of the Council's blood. And he's probably the person who stole it, so... Do you know anything about an unauthorised distillery in the Dead Zone? Ah. The Dead Zone has an aura. The structure of the island's corrupted there. It gives the whiskey a unique taste. Surely the whiskey is tainted as well. It's quad-filtered. The flavour's there, but the taint's removed. <laughs> please, don't, please don't put your taint in the whiskey. It's clean. You should try some. I know it's illegal, but how many times do you get to have whiskey blended in a demonic hot zone? I needed to know. You understand, right? I found a chiller containing a blood vial in your little distillery. What? What chiller? Don't test me. Why is the label scratched off? That's not my business, is it? That vial came from Doom Jazz, didn't it? The doctor? It's for my prescription. The blood vial in your chiller has the letter K on the label where the first name would be. Kafka Memories blood sample is missing from Doom Jazz's clinic, and you were seen snooping there. Is there an accusation somewhere in there, LD? Do you know what the Holy Seals are? They are a secret, aren't they? How would I know? One is a bloodlock. Several days ago, that bloodlock was opened by Kaf Kafka Memory. I'm sure a council member had business in the council building, didn't they? Montserrat decided the council should only enter the penthouse as a group. I think you used that blood sample to gain access to the penthouse. Why would I do that? Are you denying it? Of course I'm denying it. I didn't know what the third seal was until just now, did I? I never said it was the third seal. You did, didn't you? No, I was careful not to. Thanks, Sammy. Oh, okay. Well, a certain specific narrative is starting to... Uh, starting to, to take pl tire starting to take form in my mind. Okay. So Lydia and Sam transgressed the seals. Witness uh, sent the message to the landmine demon and also prepared and created the landmine demon in the first place. Or the demon landmine that the landmine demon is uh, hidden within. So that seems like a fairly solid collusion. I think Lydia and Sam's motive is relatively weak, I guess, but they are some more, much more strongly tied to the crime by evidence at this point. So Sam and Lydia definitely, or at least very likely, transgressed the seals in order to install the demon landmine. Although they may not have known what it was they were in placing, and then Witness 
almost certainly triggered it, and he definitely knew what was in it. But maybe, I suppose theoretically it could be, it could have been moved without his knowledge. He was planning to kill someone else, it was moved, he sends the signal, it kills the, uh, the syndicate. But that's a very clear and direct narrative here. Doon Jazz seems to be involved to some degree because he's covering for Aikiko. Also, he may have intentionally provided the blood vial to Sam Daybreak. I suppose it's possible Lydia isn't involved, but unlikely given the, as the car seems to have been involved in transgressing one of the previous seals as well. So, Lydia and Sam put the box in the place, Witness detonates it, Doom Jazz let them get, by, get past a lock, and Aikiko is the only person in position to have replaced the guards at the front. But if she's involved in this crime, but if Aikiko's involved in this crime, then why did Sam and Lydia need to bypass the guards on the gate in the first place? If they if they emplaced the thing days previously to the to the uh, to the murder, uh, there would be no reason no no need no reason to kill the guards on the gate. But the fact that the guards on the gate were swapped out for other corpses so that the two marshals who should have been there weren't killed suggests Aikiko's involvement in some way. But then again. It wasn't. It wouldn't have been necessary if the if the landmine was already put in there. So, she's definitely up to something. But I can't see how it connects yet. Um, I mean, Carmelina seems to have murdered Grace Bloodlines, but that seems to be an old crime that may or may not be related. So yeah, the plot's thickening. I'm starting to think that Yuri is just a useful idiot who hasn't actually been involved in anything. Crimson's perfectly happy to just squat at the centre of her web, and Henry Division still seems like uh, a total scapegoat. And uh, presumably One Last Kiss isn't really involved as a suspect, given as she's a ghost. I mean, I don't... can ghosts do murders? I'm not... I'm not certain. Anyway, so that's pretty much... oh, hang on, there was another one. Do you know anything about demons on the island? There shouldn't be any demons on the island, should there? Oh, well, okay, that's easy. Fancy a drink? Is night alone okay again? Neat this time? Whatever you recommend. The ice ball you had last time allowed you to savour it for longer, but it was chilled. The colder the drink, the less you can taste it. I hope you'll enjoy the pure taste of this blend. It's delicious. What are you blending on this island? Night alone and the vortex blend. Maybe you can try it next time. No single malts. Blended whiskey requires a fusion of single malts, but on this island I have focused on serving blended instead of single malts. It is important to practice all areas of your repertoire, isn't it? I do actually kind of want to know what Lydia's drink is. What's Lydia drinking these days? She enjoys a drink while she paints. She chooses something appropriate to her piece. She enjoys all of the different ways of serving. A lot like you, right, LD? There's something to be enjoyed in everything. What about the next island, though? It is important to breathe the new island in. Learn about it. Learn about it, a craft, a drink that can only be born on that island. I'm really starting to notice the um, spelling and syntactical errors. There were a couple I didn't point out earlier in this episode, and I stumbled over one last episode as well. Um, I didn't notice these early in the story. I wonder if the later in the game the writing is, the less proofread it was? Anyway, learn about it and craft a drink that can only be born on that island. The islands give the drinks so much character, don't they? If we make it to the next island. Gotta go, Sam. I'll catch you later. Come on, Daybreak, give me another secret. Nope. <laughs> okay. Well, that's going to be about it from me for today. There's only a couple of these idiots left to deal with. Those three, and then also crimson acid so oh and i have more questions i can ask the doctor as well which probably relate to whether or not he uh, intentionally gave away restricted oh. blood which is not a phrase you find yourself saying very often anyway that's going to be it from me for today thanks for watching if you enjoyed this please like subscribe and share i also stream on twitch and i now have a discord server for stream scheduling you can contribute to my existence on Ko-fi or Patreon, and all of those links are in the video description. Thanks so much for watching.